recently you had a Vice documentary come out. Facts. And uh, one of the one of the things that stuck out to me was the Ebro part, where uh, Ebro says he's not okay with Asians using the N word. He says it's a no fly zone. How do you feel about that? Ebro, Ebro, <laughs> not playing. <laughs> Talking about the nigga have Jew, not playing. <laughs> Man, he gonna feel he gonna feel strongly about his opinion about it. I mean, I, I can't hate. That's how he feel. I don't got nothing against that man. That's his opinion. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna change for him. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't right. care what he say or what anyone else say. That that's how I'm gonna live. That's how I'm gonna die. That's how I was born. It's like you put somebody in t that type of environment. You cannot expect them to not be a reflection of their environment. You feel me? That's just what it is. Okay. They put Tarzan in the fucking jungle. Look at him. <laughs> he, he be adapted. Does the controversy bother you at all? Not really. No, I mean, like, I, I, I mean, because it feels normal to me, but until I start going to, um, like, prison or I start traveling more, I start seeing, like, people wasn't used to my type of kind, you know what I'm saying, that come from that type of lifestyle. But it's not a facade. If I never traveled or did any of this music shit, Right now, I will probably be either in jail, dead, or with my homies talking the same way I talk, and that's just how they're gonna talk forever. Like that's just how we are, how we act and shit. It ain't so, no facade. So when you're, so in California, people, people don't really think of it as different. Yeah. But it, but in other states, in other places, unless they got Asians over there, unless okay. they got Asians over there that's come from the same lifestyle. Cause you know you put a bunch of people in some projects or. Uh, in the neighborhood, and this poverty, and there's a bunch of drugs and all that shit going on, guns, gang bang. That's just that's just what you're gonna get out of it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm mean? saying? And the people who's used to us Asians coming from that lifestyle either witnessed it or they live around it or something. I'm paraphrasing this, but China Max said, "Culture is about the environment you were raised in," and felt like Ebro was singling Asians out. Do you have a Do you have a take on that? Cause it's like. Asians, the media portray Asians to be a certain way already. They portray them to be the smart, rich, intelligent, un, uh, not masculine type of person, you know what I'm saying? Like you never, mm. s like Asians is like girls, like even when they get at, girls that like Asians is like very rare too, like very rare. It's like the way the media portrays is not masculine, like, like manly, it's like the nerdy, like you know what I'm saying? Like the niggas who can't defend themselves and shit. That's how I look at it. So you don't feel that the, uh, the, the, so you don't feel the media portrays Asians in a fair way? It's not that fair because, well, actually, there's a majority of Asians around the world who got their shit straight, got their shit right, their parents rich or whatever. But at the end of the day, you got people like China Mac or people like me who came from that poverty. So it's like they can't count us out, really. They can't be surprised or say we faking it or say, this and that with the woo, cause we products of our environment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of it's not even just Asians, any un, any race. It's just wherever you grew up at. Right, right. I don't know, they act so surprised and shit. Do you feel like that they're sing? Do you feel like he's singling Asians out? Who Ebro? Yeah. Not really. He just trying to single out the ones who grew up in the hood, saying that it, it, a black person give you a pass or say the N word, it shouldn't be okay. Or if you grew up in an environment, it, you sh it shouldn't be okay. If you got the credit, it shouldn't be okay, you know? So basically just singling out the ones that come from that type of environment. Um, so also recently with, uh, with China Mac, he was offended when Little Pump released, uh, he was previewing a song and some of the lyrics say Ching Chong in it. And China, Mel China Mac felt really disrespected and made a video demanding he take it down and make an apology. How did you feel about all that? I felt like in a way he's, he, I felt like he didn't mean no disrespect though, to keep it real, that's why I didn't speak on it. I felt like he didn't mean no disrespect, but it's kind of like, I didn't really listen to the video, keep it real, but I was just seeing all the controversy and I felt like, I don't know, I didn't take it as disrespect because he said Ching Chong, it was kind of like, music is using a lot of that. Asian sauce in it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, if, if someone's saying something disrespectful, like fuck Asian, fuck niggas, whatever, then like some racist shit, then you know, that'd be offensive. But I feel like 
a lot of people spoke about it. That's why he took it down. But I felt like from his heart, like genuinely, he didn't really mean to disrespect Asians. Why would he? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. I That's mean, the point. Yeah, you know, I mean, throughout hip hop, you know, I've heard probably at least 100 rappers refer to, you know, when smoking weed, they refer to I slanted started, eyes yeah. or, I hear you know. It. I've been hearing it. That's why. Migo, Nicki Minaj. So I guess they, they met up and Little Pump, he took the video down and made an apology. Right. So, you know, and, you know, and uh, China Mac accepted his apology. So, I, you know, I think, you know, China Mac just right. speaking up. He didn't do no wrong. He's just speaking up for the people, uh, for, for, for the people who do feel offended. You know did you mean? know people who were, did you, did you know anybody who was offended by In my area, it? no. Yeah. <laughs> my oh. homies don't give a fuck about none of that. We got real problems to worry about, you know what I'm saying? We don't worry about no dude saying, Ching Chong that we can't even get to because we probably got like 10 bodyguards. It, it ain't no point. It's pointless. Like, we got other real life problems and shit. Unless he said it disrespectful, then yeah, I would have spoke up. Like, you know? Right, right. Maybe when he did this little eye shit, maybe, but shit. We Asian, our eyes tight. What you expect? <laughs> They're going to use that reference when they get high and all that type of shit. 